Pterodactyl's Egg by Satyajit Ray Badal Babu went to the riverside to think of stories to tell his son Biltu. There a stranger appeared and engaged him in conversation. He carried a strange machine like a stethoscope. He could be a pickpocket, thought Badan Babu. Badan Babu's salary, two new hundred rupee notes, was thrust into an inner pocket. His wallet had 55 rupees and 32 paise. He rose to go, but the stranger stopped him and started talking about travelling, time travelling. All you need to do, he said, is put these rubber tubes into your ears. This switch on the right will take you to the future and the one on the left will take you to the past. You can fix the date you wish to travel to. The stranger said that he had travelled to the future once, to the 30th century. The farthest I could go back was when the dinosaurs had already arrived, said the man. The river did not exist then. This place was full of stony mounds and wild plants. Suddenly, I saw a stegosaurus. I nearly froze with fear. I was about to return to the present when I saw a pterodactyl swoop upon the stegosaurus. Nearby, inside a big crack in a rock, lay a shiny round white egg, the pterodactyl's egg. The two animals began fighting and I pocketed the egg. Badan Babu could not believe that such things could happen outside the realm of fiction. You can try your luck, said the stranger. Please don't let me be disappointed. Badan Babu prayed silently. The man tucked the tubes into Badan Babu's ears, pressed the switch and grabbed his right wrist. Badan Babu sat in eager anticipation for nearly a whole minute with his eyes closed. Then the man switched the machine off and took it back. It would have worked only if the number of hairs on your head was exactly the same as mine. Badan Babu felt like a deflated balloon. How very sad he had to lose such an opportunity. The stranger handed him a shiny round object from his bag. It was heavy and smooth. After Badan Babu had returned the egg, he reached the tram stop and boarded a tram. Then he slipped his hand into his pocket. His heart stood still. The wallet was gone. He had to get down from the tram immediately. I know what happened, he thought. When I closed my eyes and he held my hand, what a fool I've made of myself. When Badan Babu reached home, Biltu's face lit up at the sight of his father. I'll tell you a good story today, said Badan Babu. The pterodactyl's egg and many more it won't be finished in a day. The material he had collected today, thought Badan Babu, will help him think of many stories for Biltu and make the boy happy. Surely that was worth at least 55 rupees and 32 pesos.